Hi everyone, my name is Saikira. I am welcome. Thank you for watching MP Now's video. So I'm coming to you with another video because I actually got this question from a prospective client of mine who was concerned about what she would do about healthcare if she were to leave her job as far as getting healthcare for herself, her family, and whatnot. So just a little bit of background. If you don't know me already, my name is Saikira. I am a family nurse practitioner. I am also an entrepreneur. I have a med spa, I have an online practice, and I also do several other things, including consult and coach nurse practitioners to help them open up their own practices. And this was one of my consultations that I had with one of my clients. I do a free 15 minute consult with anyone who wants to work with me. So if you wanna open up your own side niche practice, IV hydration clinic, Botox, bar, or anything you want to do in whatever state you're in, I can help you do that. So one of the things that one of my clients was concerned about was healthcare insurance. This was also a concern for me. Whether you're married or you're just coupled or whether you're single or whether you're single with kids, single without kids, married with kids, whatever your situation is, there's always a way that you can get healthcare insurance. So one of the things that I find people are really concerned about is the cost of their healthcare insurance if they were to leave their employer. So just a little bit about my situation. So last year, I decided that I was going to leave my job. So I started looking into other alternatives for healthcare because, you know, I'm pretty well. I don't go to the doctor much. I may go to the like GYN once a year, dentist twice a year. I really don't use much healthcare. I even had an incident where, you know, I had to take my son to an urgent care and I had to pay out of pocket because my, I didn't meet a deductible. So mind you, that year I spent about $5,000 in health on my healthcare insurance with my employer and I used it three times times. That bothered me because I was like, why am I paying so much money? Why is this so expensive? And I don't even use it. When I left in June, I decided that I was going to look for alternatives. I started looking up things and, you know, speaking with other people. And I'm going to give you guys five healthcare options that you can use if you decide that you don't want to go the traditional route of, you know, the Blue Cross Blue Chills, the Aetna's. I will tell you that my partner pays about $600 a month for healthcare insurance and he's completely healthy, doesn't take any medications, doesn't do and goes to the gym, works out, takes care of himself and his insurance is like $600 and he has one of the regular traditional healthcare insurances, who costs Blue Shield or something like that. I don't even know if that's it, but it's one of those ones. He pays $600 a month for healthcare insurance. That is ridiculous. And you know, if you live in the States and you're listening to this, they did remove that requirement that you had to have healthcare insurance back in 2019. So you don't get penalized the $1,400 anymore if you don't have healthcare insurance. But who wants to go without insurance? You kind of like want that for that safety. So I'm gonna give you guys some options as far as what you can do. As another aside, don't think that you can't go to the, like the healthcare marketplace to get health insurance. That's still an option for you. These options may be good for you. They may not, but you know, they are out there so that way you don't feel like you have to go to the marketplace and you have to pay hundreds of dollars every month. And you feel like you just got to like use it sometimes for it to be worth it. Or unless you're very, very sick, I think that the number one way is always prevention. Make sure you take care of yourself and you know, your family, just do preventative care. Always take care of yourself, eat healthy, like, you know, live your life still, but you know, don't do crazy stuff. So one of the, thing, the things I thought about was, okay, I can pay for healthcare out of pocket. Like if I have to go to an urgent care, it's like one or $200, it's easy. I can go in and out. But what if I had a tragic event happen where I had to go to the hospital? So I wanted to find out what options that I had. So I was listening to a podcast, this girl, she actually is like a nomad. She travels all around the world and she retired at age 30 and she has her own healthcare insurance and she's mentioned something called nomads insurance. So I looked at what nomads insurance was and basically if you are someone who hops around the country or even the states a lot, this health insurance goes with you. Don't mind if I'm looking at my computer because I actually forgot some things about some of these insurances. So the first one is Nomad Insurance. If you go on worldnomad.com, that's where you'll find this insurance to see if it's appropriate for you. So 
Say for instance, you are a entrepreneur, but you are one of those entrepreneurs that like you move around, you have like a telehealth practice and you move around and you go to different countries. You know, this insurance will cover you if you have a tragic event in another country, it'll cover your dental visits and the fees are pretty okay. You have to call to get your fees, but they have some examples on here, the benefits of which they'll cover. You could know there's an Explorer plan and a standard plan. If you get into like a hit by a bus in Greece or something, they will pay to have you flown back here into the States to get care and they will cover you up to XYZ percentages. So that's World Nomad Insurance. That's one option. Like I said, that's probably good for a nurse practitioner or a provider who is travels a lot and has a moving job or if you're retired and you just are like moving about the country, that's an option for you. The other one that I found a lot of nurse practitioner entrepreneurs use is Zion Health. So this is a health share membership. So basically you pay every month and then it's like everybody helps pay for your health medical benefits. Everybody puts money into the pool and then when you need money from that pool, you take out of it, which is cool because then you don't have to worry about, it's almost like a partner. I don't know if you heard of something called a partner where everybody puts their money together and then one person gets a chunk of the money this date, the other person gets a chunk of the money that date so you end up with a big old chunk of money. Well, this is, similar to that in a way where you just throw all your money, like you pay every month, whatever the fee is, 150, 200 a month. And then they cover you for any doctor visits. They cover you for urgent care visits. They even have a prescription plan as well. So that is Zion Health Share. Christian Health Ministry. I don't know if like a lot of people feel like they don't really want to do something that's related to like a religious aspect or whatever, but take the dogma out of it. Think of it as like as a necessity instead. So Liberty Health Share is another option for you if you want to go outside of the traditional of healthcare insurances. These plans they do market themselves as health share because they technically can't market themselves as health insurance for I guess legal reasons. But they cover you with the Liberty Health Share plan. They have a plan. There's three tiers. There's a single program, $159 a month, a couples program, $259 a month, and a family program starting at $499. And it doesn't have a limit of the kids. So if you have one or if you have 10 kids, they still cover you at that base price. It's an alternative for, you know, everybody. If you're not a Christian, they don't, they can't discriminate. So this is an option for you. It's basically they market themselves as helping your fellow man. So, you know, you put your money towards your plan every month and you use it when you need it. And they of course send you a booklet and a pamphlet with all the stipulations and things like that. And another plan is Christian Health Ministries. So that is also a three-tier plan. There's the bronze program, which is $90. They say per unit per month. So it's $90 per person per month. So $90 for you, $90 for your spouse, $90 for your kid, if that's what the level you wanna go to. Then they have a silver plan that's $135 per unit per month. So that would be $135 for you, $135 for your spouse, $135 for your kids. And then the gold member plan is $235, same thing as the ones previously. So with this one, you know, they cover personal responsibility of $5,000 per unit. They cover inpatient, outpatient, surgical things. They also have access to telehealth visits. And then they also cover you up to $100,000. So if you are hospitalized and your bill is like over like, you know, 10 grand or something like that. And they'll pay up to $100,000 of that. But I believe you have to pay a base amount first. Um, of course, the highest plan, they have like a brother's keeper share, which you don't have to have a limit on that $100,000. But we're gonna think the best and not the worst. We're all gonna be healthy and we're all gonna be good. The last one I have is Sidera. Sidera is also a health share plan. It's a new innovative solution. They market themselves as basically, it's the same as the previous ones. And let me see what the membership. So they have individual and family plans. You select your membership level. Everybody pays into the thing every month, whatever. Your plan is $100, $200, $300, and everybody contributes and they pay your doctor for you. And I believe it goes according to age. So those are the five different plans that I found that was interesting to me, opposed to the regular Aetna Blue Cross Blue Shields. So that was World Nomads, Zion Healthcare, Christian Health Ministries, and also Sidera. But there was also a fourth one. There was Liberty 
Health Share. Yes, Liberty Health Share was the fifth one. I think I um, skipped that one. Yes, so Liberty Health Ministries is the other one that is an option. So the downside to some of these plans, I would say, is that, you know, if you're like, they ask you to say like something about, do you believe that God is your, one of them, I believe, do you believe God is your savior and you are going to do right by your fellow man or something like that? If they make you like listen to this five minute video or recording and say yes to some things that might be like not really good or not really something someone wants to do. So you don't have to go with that plan. Don't go with a Christian health ministries or something like that. Go with like Zion Health or Sidera or Nomad, you know? The other thing is some of these Christian-based plans, they can choose not to pay for some things such as abortion care, especially because I believe they don't really believe in abortions or something like that, or they may not cover birth control, things like that. So that's some things that you have to consider. And also some plans, they don't cover pregnancy. So if you're a woman and you want looking to get pregnant, if you're in the States, there's always Medicaid, just so you know. Medicaid covers children under 18 and all pregnant women. So just as an FYI, you always have options. Don't be afraid or worry that you don't. And like everywhere else in the country, Canada and other countries, they have free, they have like universal health care. So this isn't even an issue that they have to deal with. But yeah, so for all my entrepreneurs who are, you know, looking to get out of their nine to five, seven to seven, all goddamn day shifts, this is an option for you when you leave that you can get health care insurance opposed to getting health care insurance and paying these high premiums. I told you like six, seven hundred dollars a month and you like use it once. So these are some options for you. I hope this was helpful and I will catch you guys on another video. Don't forget to follow me on socials. We're at MP now LLC. That's on Facebook, also Instagram. We also on TikTok and we are also on YouTube. So find our YouTube page and we'll keep up with our videos. All right. Take care. See you on another video. Bye.